بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful Today we'd like to speak about something very important, something we all take for granted or a lot of us take for granted and this is why Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has warned about it as well. Many of us have good health, mashallah. Thank Allah for it and use it. Use it to do what? Use it to do that which will achieve the pleasure of the Almighty. Your eyes you can see by. There might come a day when you cannot see. So read the proper books and read that which will be beneficial look at that which will help you don't look at that which will earn the wrath of the almighty don't look at that which you are not supposed to be looking at because these are your eyes the same applies to your hands today you can move them move them to achieve that which will earn the pleasure of the almighty tomorrow you may not have that mobility today mashallah we can walk today we can read salah people are crying because they have not read salah until they get to an age when they cannot bend their backs anymore they cannot go into ruku they cannot do sujood so why is it that we sometimes become oblivious of the gift of health really the gift of health is a gift that many of us take for granted and this is why it's very important for us to look at the gift that Allah has blessed us with some people cannot eat some people cannot eat a lot of the food stuffs so when we are when we can eat it let's eat in moderation let's remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's gift upon us say the prayer before eating and perhaps after eating as well thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the food and Uh, ask him to help use the energy that is derived from that food in something good and let's make sure that we eat that which is permissible and and which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ha- will not be upset by what is extremely important is we also realize that our organs inside they operate automatically completely they have no batteries they have no no one Uh, no human being sort of remote controlling them it's the control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the heart pumps in a magical way more than a hundred thousand heartbeats in no time subhanallah and whose battery is that it's just the automatic plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look at the brain how sophisticated it is the ears look at the mouth look at the lips look at the for example the tongue and how it tastes and the taste buds and look at how medicine and science is discovering new things every single day and this is all the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have it and we do not thank Allah for it and we do not use it in the right direction subhanallah how can that be when we are believers we know that definitely it's going to come to an end we know definitely these eyes of mine will not see at a certain time because i have to die at one stage and i have to return to allah alhamdulillah i have to go back to my creator and maker so let me use it in order to please him and not to displease him and uh, mashallah tabarakallah many people are becoming more and more conscious of it whilst we have a voice let us try and recite the quran whilst we can let us try inshallah to do the best of things the other thing that a lot of people take for granted is the issue of time we have free time people use it to watch television to sit and see the soaps mashallah and you know the soaps they wash what do they wash your brain mashallah so that's why we say subhanallah the soap i i hope we can have a different name for something beneficial inshallah and we have programs of a beneficial nature we have uh, perhaps a weekend out perhaps a little bit of uh sacrifice to go to the masjid to listen to some good lecture to attend the durus and the lessons that the ulama have uh, the scholars the mashayikh and to be able to benefit to sit in a halaqa and try perhaps to rectify the the quran the understanding of the quran uh, perhaps uh, learn something that others have even if it is something uh, that may not directly be uh, connected to the religion for example a person has free time they want to improve their handwriting mashallah you want to do a course in calligraphy something that will benefit you somehow and you can use that talent inshallah not only to earn a little bit of money but even by the will of allah to build your akhirah to build your paradise may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that to us it's important for us not to waste our time because as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said the two gifts that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us that many people take for granted the first one is the health and the second one is free time so when there is free time use it 
Use it. Do not abuse it. SubhanAllah, people sometimes say, Oh, I've got some free time. Let me go to bed. I can go and sleep. Are you depressed? Well, if you are, maybe you might think sleeping will help you. It won't. To be honest with you, we all need sleep and we all need a certain amount of it. But sometimes we need to correct ourselves. We need to develop a link with our maker in order for us to be able to understand that we have a short space of time to pack in it as much goodness as we can before the time expires and our health expires. So these two things are definitely going to go because my health, even if I die a healthy person, but I'm dead. When I die, what happens? My health is irrelevant, completely irrelevant. And a few days ago, I spoke of a very interesting point, inshallah. I may share it with you in one of the episodes to come. But what I'd like to share with you right now is the fact that even time